good morning, he said from Zester's lab. Well, it looks like a war zone in my little room, working space. It's crazy. Well, yesterday I did the video telling you about all my beautiful um, materials that I was blessed with. And then I got this idea that my cushions need some new upholstering material look at this the, this these ones i used coffee bags that i bought 10 rand each to cover them but that was about 10 years ago so the sun got hold of them and um, they are in desperate need of some tlc so yesterday I got the idea to use some of the uh, beautiful materials or most of what I got yesterday was upholstery material. And um, as you know, you always have what you need and I need to redo these cushions. So I went into the stack of material found some materials that I really love. Remember there's still some more stashed away in my home. This was a piece that I upholster a huge old couch with. So I had that. This is what I got previously from another friend. And the rest was in my new crate full of materials. So I immediately went and I started. But the moral of this story is do not overthink. You just have to start. So I cut some pieces. At first I made larger pieces. I cut larger pieces. All of them the same width but different length. And I just started to sew them together without thinking. Every time when my mind goes to, oh, I don't think this goes with that, I stop myself. I say, do not overthink. Just use what you have to create what you love. So I started to make these large, long pieces. So... I really did not even measure my cushions, but this was my first step. So then, my second step, then I realized, oh, I decided to make them long enough to go right around my cushions. So, second step was I just sewed those two pieces together. So all of a sudden I have what exactly where I need if I can find a cushion. This is my cushions that I had somebody made it for me. You can see this piping it's been beautifully done but that's not me. This is too much work for me. Really, the piping, the perfection and stuff, it just takes too long and it's just not me. So I, this is what I'm sharing with you, how to create, to do upholstery in a very easy way. So, nothing, not everything in life has to be difficult. So this is my part. Now all that I'm going to do now is make a cover, just a square. So I put them over, this is my plan. So this is what I'm going to do. Can you see it just go over the cushion. Now I'm going to do there, close it up there. That is my next step. Easy, easy. So this is number three. So that's why I had to make this video this morning because I want to finish this. But I first 
wanted to share how easy it is to create cushion covers for cushions, even upholstery type of things. I will show you the one that's done. It's beautiful. So this is it. I already stitched it. I put it on my cushion and I measured it and I stitched it and I sewed it again. So now it is fitting very, very snugly. Let me just put it on. So you just measure. You put the first one on and then you just stitch it so that it is nice and tight. Then you sew it again and you get your cover. I should have actually had this one on before I started the video, but I wanted to show you the process of how I got to creating these covers. But now there's one little tip. That is what I actually want to show you. So this is an ordinary square. You can see I just stitched it and stitched it. But now it has these little ears here. And you don't want that. So now it's the tip. It's now on. So look there. The little thing. So all that I'm now going to do is I'm just going to stitch it. You can see there, there's the side. I've got this bottom part nice in the middle. This is perfect. I've got my cushion cover on exactly where it's supposed to be. This is in the middle. Right side is inside because I first want to do the little And nearly said hooks. It's hookies. Hook. Hooks in hookies and Afrikaans in my home language. So look there. I've now stitched it exactly where I'm going to sew. Just there. Whoops. You see the little pyramid there? So that is my little pyramid. So I'm going to stitch there. Whoops. There. And. It's going to be in the inside, so it's going to be perfect. The same with the other side. My other, it's the bottom part, so make sure your seams, your side seams are in the middle of your cushion. So then I go to my little pyramid. And I'm going to stitch it like that. So I'm going to pin it. And there I'm pinning it, my little pyramid. So now when I take this off again, I know exactly where to stitch it. Just an ordinary stitch. Straight line. And then I'm going to have my beautiful little corner. And that is the big, big, big tip that I wanted to share. So this is it. Voila. So now this is the one I did yesterday. Isn't it gorgeous? And just look at my little... My side, that is the little pyramid, is now in the inside. And I've got a perfect 90 degrees square. So, so easy. If I can do it, you can do it. So now what about the other side? That's now, ouch. Yep, and 
I'm still bleeding again. That's the model of my story with all the pins. So now you can see this side is now the side that's loose. I am not going to put a zip in. Really, really. So now I decide this is a little bit long, so I will have to cut about that side off. And then just like a, now you can decide how you want to do this side. I'm just putting it flat. It's a little bit long, so it's not going to be. You see, I just do that. One side over the other side. Remember, I'm now with the wrong side. My material is now not right side around. But you can see, you just fold it. Until it, remember, this is going to be at the back. Nobody's going to see this. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to work it with my hand so that I can just untuck it when I want to wash it. So I still want to wash the material, so that's why I didn't stitch this by hand. So you can see I just folded it in. This is at the back of the chain. Nobody's going to see. This is the front. So the moral of this story to me as I was busy with it this, this day, I was still stitching the last things before I wanted to make this video to share. I'm sweating. It's very hot in my little room. The moral of this story is just as in life. Don't overthink. Just do what you can do in this moment. So I just took what I had. I, if you really think about it, these things are not really going together. They kind of crazy. So I used what I have like in life, you use what you have been given. And you just, minute by minute, you do what you're allowed to do, what you can do in that moment. Without overthinking. Because as soon as you start to overthink, you're going to, you're not going to enjoy the, process. You're not going to enjoy the journey, your life's journey, because you overthink. Oh, is those two really going to fit? Does they really look good? Um, blah, blah, blah. And you keep going and going. And while you are doing it, because that is the only thing that you can do now in this moment, in life, there's something that you can do now and you do it. So while doing it, you can overthink, you can be afraid, you can be angry and resentful, you can be full of self-pity, or you can enjoy doing it, whatever it may be. It may be, <laughs> that's for me, making dinner. Oh, I'm not a cook, so that is not one of my favorite things. So I need to cook dinner, so... I'm provided with everything that I need to make a nice dinner. That is what I need to do in that moment, so I am doing it. That's the picture that I'm trying to get over. So while doing it, I am angry, resentful, not enjoying it, moaning, groaning, full of self-pity. So that's the choice I have. I can either just... Do what I need to do, find peace and joy in the moment, and until I get to the next thing I need to do. And then in that moment, once again, I've get it, I have a choice. Am I going to enjoy doing it, or am I going to be resentful, fearful, angry, because I don't think they go together. Will they go together? Blah, blah, blah. And... 
So with this I had to learn. Just cut the materials that I have and just start putting them together. Don't overthink. And at the end, everything will come together exactly like your life. You do what your hand finds to do, what you need to do, what the life in you gives you the power and the means and the whatever to do, like making dinner. And then after dinner, you go and you bath the kids or whatever, what you need to do. You've given everything to do it. And at the end, you have a life. Like I have a cushion cover. But how I put it together, that is what makes a wonderful life. Or a very stressed life. So we got to learn to trust the process to just do what you can do in this moment. Find peace and joy in the midst of this moment. And at the end, your life will be a beautiful tapestry full of things that when you look back, you don't know how they got together, how you got this awesome, beautiful life, even if it doesn't look perfect. Because these things really does not look perfect. Even my cushion, if you really think about it and you go and you examine it, it's not perfect. But it's a beautiful life. It is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's covering a cushion. And um, that's the moral of this story. Don't overthink. Enjoy the process, whatever you may be busy with. Start to learn to enjoy it, to enjoy putting these two together, even if you don't understand, if you don't, don't overthink. Just do, just be in the moment, just enjoy what you are doing. And at the end, your life will be unique, beautiful, perfect, as is. Your life is already perfect. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. All you need to do is start enjoying the process. Stop overthinking. Stop fearing how it's going to turn out. If I had fear of creating this, it would have been a terrible process. Because really, as I said, nothing actually goes together. I have no idea how the end result is going to be. I still don't know because this is one cushion. There's two cushions on every chair. The chairs, two chairs are going to stand next to each other in a room with curtains and every other thing. So I don't know how it's going to work. But don't worry about that. Just focus and enjoy this moment in your life, whatever you may be doing in this moment. Making a cup of tea, reading a book, working in the garden, going to fetch the kids, making dinner. It's daily simple things. But we got to start enjoying those things because enjoying those things will at the end create a beautiful, enjoyable life for you. But we got to do these things, whether we want to or not, enjoy them or not. And at the end, when we kept fearing, kept thinking and fearing tomorrow and look, stay in the past, keep in the past, dragging hurts from the past into this moment, we miss life. And we, instead of creating a beautiful, unique, enjoyable life, we create a frustrating life. Is it from Sister Lab? Thank you that I can share this with you. Please like my videos. You can see I'm all over the place doing different things. I already have my next project in mind, but I first need to finish this before I can start with that. So this is what I'm going to do so that I can start with my next one. And... Um, 
Life is an adventure. Let's start to view it like that. We never know how it's, life is going to unfold. We never know how it's going to be. So let's just start to enjoy this moment because what is life? What's the use of life if we don't learn to find peace and joy in whatever we may be doing in this moment? Love you lots. Is it from Zetster's Lab?